right from day one, we knew that we actually wanted solar hot water in our tiny house. The trick is actually finding a system in New Zealand that was small enough to be able to work in such a small roof area. Thankfully, the team from Solar Group came to the rescue and they've managed to create a really great custom solar hot water solution for our tiny house. Today we're going to be talking to Roy from Solar Group to find out more about the details of our solar water heating system. We're also going to be watching the install of the panels and tank. It's really, really exciting. I'm Roy Netzer, I'm Managing Director of Solar Group. We are specializing in all types of solar. And the reason we're doing solar and solar only is because we are into renewable and sustainable solutions. Anything that can last 15 years or more is us. Wherever possible, we're avoiding the use of fossil fuels in our house, so gas was ruled out for heating water right from the start. With only a small photovoltaic system, electric heating wasn't possible, so that left solar. Of course, fitting a solar panel and a tank on such a small roof comes with its own set of challenges. So what's this here actually made from? Well, the matrix inside the panel is made of copper. There's a selective coating paint on it. So the whole surface inside is made of copper and the casing itself is made of galvanized steel. Right. Uh, but instead of having glass like we have normally for domestic um, houses, we have here a polycarbonate, which is still tough enough, but uh, we have no risk of breakage because this needs to move and travel. Yep. And you know, you may have a branch falling on it on something, so we prefer to keep it simple. And it will be easier to replace if need be as well. So um, that's, that's the way it's been structured for this particular project. Obviously this panel is super light comparing to other solar panels we make, and you can see it can be lifted easily. It's probably less than 10 kg all up, you know. Well, as you can see, uh, the tank itself is strapped. And this, these straps are actually um, far beyond what you do in a normal residential house. Normal residential house, you will have um, either straps that are much smaller and slim than this one. Uh, as you can see, the brackets here is very massive. Yep. This is only a 90 liter tank. And when it's empty, as you can see, it's the weight of it is quite insignificant, Very but because we thought about the fact that the whole thing is moving, we put this, we enhance it with extra um, strength. Yep. And uh, the way we're going to anchor it to the roof is also going to be, instead of using a normal tech screws or other fixing material, we are looking to use a full um, nut bolt kind of system that can't really rip itself off the, the roof. So that is one difference. The other difference is the panel itself. Again, normally in a traditional house, you put the panel vertically and not horizontally. Uh, again, here we have a fairly short roof, so the panel is wider and shorter rather than longer and slimmer. So again, this was customized for the situation in there. Why is it a problem when they're in low temperatures? Because those copper pipes are very slim, uh, the water starts to crystallize, they expand and they have nowhere to expand, so they're just going to buckle these risers. So that valve will save the day, in a way, by sensing that there's frost conditions and it will allow movement of water in those rises and right. stop it from freezing. When it fills here any temperature that is less than four degrees ambient temperature, you see this mechanism here that there's like a spring, it opens and it starts to drip off the water. Right. And create movement and that movement obviously doesn't, once, once water moves, they don't freeze. Yeah. So it's like you're leaving your garden hose open and yeah. it drips and it doesn't freeze. So that's the same principle. For us, it was a very unique challenge. It's like trying to create a square egg, but uh, we're very uh, much into those kind of challenges and we want to showcase that we can do solar even to the smallest house. And we currently have solar for the largest projects in New Zealand, and this will be the other end of the extreme. So um, we are we're up to the challenge.
Later, we'll be going into more detail on our solar system and the next step of its installation. But for now, it's on to exterior cladding, which we'll be covering in our next video. See you then.